All right, what's up guys? Nicky White here, wrestler-power.com. I'm gonna show you a back extension, which is my favorite way to program um, movements from the hips and to turn on the hamstrings and the glutes with wrestlers that um, show the inability to get into a proper deadlift position or to the bottom of a squat or generally just show lower back weakness when they, when they start to pull off the floor, their low backs around a lot and things like that. Um, there's a few things that I do that I really focus on with beginner wrestlers that they use this exercise but a lot of people overlook that I think really make the difference um, as far as this exercise carrying over into the free weight exercises that I like to do to build up my wrestlers. Um, the first thing being is that it needs to be set below the hip bones and that's going to enable me to move from the hips. A lot of people like to put it higher and when they put it higher against their stomach it forces um, you know, the, the user or the lifter to to reassume that flexed low back position, which is something that we're trying to eliminate um, and break the habit of. So you want to set this a little bit lower where it's, you know, just below the hip bones. When you get on, you know, there's no real tricks that I have there. Um, but basically you just lower yourself. I'm going to tuck in my shirt here so everyone can see my back. The big thing is just lowering yourself while you keep a nice tall arch chest and tall chin like this and you go down as low as you can, ultimately you'll feel a stretch in your hamstrings at the bottom. Um, generally what I find with, with new wrestlers is um, those who don't have these muscles, what I'll call turned down, who, who aren't you know, accustomed to using them as hip extensors, um, you know, they, they don't necessarily feel a, a stretch in their hamstrings at the bottom. But basically you just want to go down with a tall chest and a flat back like this until you get a stretch in the hamstrings. Notice my back is staying nice and arched throughout and then coming up like this, and I like to tuck my chin at the top, that's going to keep me from hyperextending like this. And this is all you do for it, just like this. Focus on tall chest and flat back going down as far as I can while maintaining that flat back. Never um, go for lower depths and compromise your low back. What I mean by that is if you can only go to here and keep a nice flat back like I have, and if you go lower and it starts to look like crap like that, don't do that because you're reinforcing what we're trying to eliminate. Instead, just make it a nice short range of motion like this until you gain the flexibility and the strength and the feel for the exercise to go all the way down like this until, I mean, my stomach is hitting the, uh, the pad here. I can't go any lower. So that's how we like to perform back extensions here to kind of reprogram wrestlers, teach them how to move from their hips turn on those hamstrings, turn on those glutes, which are going to help their sprawls, takedowns, throws, all over the mat. You know, we, we use hip extension all the time in wrestling, um, and I'll talk more about that in later articles, obviously. So thanks for tuning in. Talk to everyone again soon.